The enigma of Betelgeuse begins in the middle of the second century, when Chinese astronomers made a fascinating observation of a giant star that exhibited a distinct yellow hue. Ptolemy the astronomer characterized it as orangish or reddish. There is a physical probability that Betelgeuse changed its hue over the centuries. Today, it's not only about Betelgeuse's hue, its evolution has experienced tremendous alterations. Given that humans are night sky watchers by nature, it is possible that Chinese astronomers watched Betelgeuse during its yellow supergiant phase and it progressed into the red supergiant phase over several centuries. What ancient astronomers observed is now tested by modern scientists as they declare a possible supernova or an explosion of this star in the near future. The real question is, when is it going to happen, and what does it mean for Earth? Keep watching as we delve deep into the mystery of this fascinating star. Before we start, click that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. What exactly is this intriguing Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse is considered the 10th brightest star in the night sky, even though its brightness fluctuates from time to time. Part of the reason for this is, it is not your normal star due to its enormous size. If we could somehow replace Betelgeuse with our own mini-sun, it would extend all the way to the asteroid belt and have a mass 20 times that of the sun. It may surprise you, but Betelgeuse is actually relatively young for a star, with an estimated age of 8 to 10 million years. In comparison, our own sun is significantly older, believed to be 4.6 billion years old. Betelgeuse is one of the nearest stars to Earth, about 650 light years in distance. This makes it popular among both professional and amateur astronomers. This red giant star is in the constellation Orion and has become the second brightest star in the constellation, behind the brightest blue star Rigel. But Betelgeuse, the most identifiable and dazzling star, has been acting abnormally over the past several years. Scientists have noticed an unprecedented drop in the brightness of the star, and the change was first observed in 2019. This change has led scientists to suspect that Betelgeuse is about to explode in the form of a supernova. Scientists have concluded that the star has partially exploded and has lost a substantial part of its visible surface. NASA's Hubble telescope has captured the entire state of how it exploded and how it slowly recovered after the event that has never before been seen in a normal star. When a star as big as Betelgeuse's explosion happens, it can eject 400 billion times more mass than a typical ejection from the sun. Betelgeuse has been showing behaviors of pulsations, brightness variations, and tendencies of a potential supernova. Betelgeuse pulsates, meaning it undergoes periodic expansions and contractions. These pulsations cause changes in its size and brightness. The pulsations are driven by instability within the star due to the balance between gravity pulling inward and radiation pressure pushing outward. Secondly, it displays brightness fluctuations. Betelgeuse's brightness may change dramatically over time, from weeks to years. At its brightest, it is one of the brightest stars in the night sky, rivaling even the brightest of stars like Sirius. But at its lowest brightness, it might appear considerably fainter. These brightness variations are not intermittent, and the specific explanation of its irregular behavior is yet unknown. This is possible since Betelgeuse is known to pulse, expand and contract, dull and brighten at regular intervals. Betelgeuse's brightness changes dramatically every 420 days. Astronomers credit this increased brightness to the periodic expansion of the star's envelope, or the spherical outer area. Another form of behavior is its tendencies for a possible supernova. These extraordinary cosmic events have the power to momentarily surpass the luminosity of entire galaxies, emitting an immense amount of energy that exceeds what our sun will radiate throughout its entire lifespan. NASA describes supernovas as the largest explosion that takes place in space, highlighting their awe-inspiring magnitude. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, its luminosity would be so extraordinary that it could even be visible during daylight hours. 
Betelgeuse may have less than 300 years worth of fuel left in its core. When the star burns through those last drops, its core will collapse into a black hole and in the process blast out the star's outer layers at enormous speeds of up to 25,000 miles per second. This fiery demise is what astronomers call a supernova explosion, and in the case of Betelgeuse, it will be a spectacular sight for observers on Earth. Since the star is only 650 light years from Earth, those layers of gas and dust will shine as bright as the full moon in our sky for several weeks. This is because supergiant stars like this burn rapidly through their nuclear fuel and go supernova relatively quickly on geological time scales. This also means they evolve rapidly and Betelgeuse may actually have done that right before. Betelgeuse has already burned through its primary fuel hydrogen and is now fusing helium in its core into heavier elements. The point at which a star runs out of hydrogen in its lifetime is obvious. Stars short on hydrogen need to put extra energy into igniting the helium produced during the fusion of hydrogen, which forces them to expand dozens of times beyond their original size. In the process, they also become cooler and redder. Scientists say that although they cannot determine exactly how much carbon remains right now, evolution models suggest that the carbon exhaustion would occur in less than 300 years. After the carbon exhaustion, fusions of further heavier elements would occur in probably a few tens of years, and after that the central part would collapse and a supernova explosion would occur. Did you ever think of what would ever happen to Earth when the Betelgeuse supernova occurs? Knowing the real physical size of the star can be helpful in determining the distance it has from Earth. Judging by the results of a new study, it is only 530 light years from us, that is 25% closer than where we previously thought it was. Some scientists also say that Betelgeuse is not at all about to explode and that on the other hand it is still not too far from and it will be dangerous to life on Earth. However, it will be a magnificent and fascinating astronomical event from a scientific standpoint, so when we see it, Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova any time between now and the next 100,000 years. Supernovas are highly energetic events, releasing an immense amount of energy. However, as this energy expands through space, it dissipates rapidly. So even if the energy from Betelgeuse's supernova was to reach Earth, it would have considerably weakened. Scientists estimate that even a supernova occurring within 25 light years would not pose a direct threat to our planet. Supernovas emit various forms of radiation, including gamma rays. But for a gamma ray burst to significantly impact Earth, it would need to be precisely directed towards our planet. According to scientists, the probability of such a direct hit from Betelgeuse's supernova is extremely low. While Betelgeuse's supernova is not anticipated to cause direct harm to life on Earth, it could potentially have some atmospheric effects. The explosion would release a burst of ultraviolet radiation, which might temporarily deplete the ozone layer. Any resulting ozone depletion would be relatively minor and short-lived, posing minimal risks to our environment. Moving on, it's really difficult to tell precisely what is happening inside the giant star right now, so for now it's time to wait and see what tales the giant star might tell. Until the supernova happens, we will make sure to keep you updated on this fascinating stellar event. What are your thoughts on today's video? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.